штука же не может в таких тонических Uczy się tenisa i na takim spotkaniu na zakończenie. Tutaj jest tam kierownik. Okay guys, I want to uh, once again thank the parents for allowing us to uh, have your children this week. We had a great week. Weather-wise, it was a little, little hot yesterday, but we got the humidity down a little bit more today and a little cooler. And Monday and Tuesday were perfect. So we had a fantastic week weather-wise. We had a fantastic week. Um, in terms of uh, attitude and uh, motivation, so it made it very difficult for us to make our choices uh, for the awards, some of the awards, which we like to have that dilemma. Uh, you guys should be proud of all your kids. There was absolutely no problems uh, throughout the week. So again, another fantastic week. Uh, let me remind you guys that uh, we've got four more weeks of camp this summer. Uh, we're off next week because it's July the 4th, and then we have three consecutive weeks in a row. Uh, then a week, and then the last camp is in the second week of August. So we're going to start out by recognizing all of the campers. But first, let's give your parents and grandparents a round of applause for allowing you to come this week. And then let's give the on-court instructors a round of applause for the job they did. And now, we're, again, we're going to recognize every, all of our campers with a uh, certificate of participation and their camp photo. So, if Dominic would come up. Good job, buddy. And Gabriella. Monday, as I anticipated, um, we had about uh, 18 nominations for sportsmanship award from all the instructors. Um, we had like narrowed it down to about seven or eight. 
And I had to go back to instructors again and narrow it down to three or four. Uh, but you, all the parents can be proud. Um, but one fella stood out, and that would be Finn. So again, I want to just again thank you for the per having them come for the first week uh, of our 2014 academies, uh, and remind you again, we've got three coming up, three in a row. Uh, staff will be burnt out by the end of the third week, but uh, especially, especially if the weather uh, was like yesterday. That's, that's more the issue than uh, anything else. But uh, again, thanks for letting your children come. We hope they uh, began a journey of learning to love this game that you can play for the rest of your life. Uh, you'd be surprised at how many kids go on to play high school tennis or a few even to play college tennis. Uh, many have come back to work on the staff. We uh, started in camps. So it's a, a very interesting process to uh, be introduced to a new sport. Some of you are coming back for your second and third year, uh, which we hope tells us that you're really enjoying uh, playing the game of tennis. The, still, the biggest thing that these guys need to work on uh, is serving. Uh, it's the one thing that's still kind of holding them back from getting into what we would call regular match play. Uh, and we only had a couple players on the highest level court. And as, as I told them, how many how many serves you guys need to get out of 10 in order to do match play? 70 or 60. 60 or 70 percent. So six or seven out of 10. So, so you'll have fun out there. Uh, you want to be a little bit above 50 percent because with two serves, uh, then you're getting points in play. 75 or 80 percent of the time. So keep them focused, keep working. Uh, we do have adult clinics uh, on every day of the week from 9 to 10 to 10 30. If you guys want to play with them, we have uh, an adult beginner and advanced beginner league on Tuesday evenings. Uh, so the more you guys can get out and play, obviously the faster that you're going to improve. But again, thanks so much, and we certainly appreciate. Uh, you guys coming back and uh, being loyal patrons of the Ocean City Tennis Center. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah,